Hey guys, Chris here, and this is going to be a review on the Santa Damiana cigar. It's the Churchill cigar. It is from the Dominican Republic. So, um, it is of a decent size. <clears throat> Seven inches, I believe, the 48 ring gauge, but it might be 46. I don't quite remember. Check that in a minute. But it says Santa Damiana and uh, Dominican Republic. It also says hand rolled there. I'm not sure if the focus is going to quite work. But, um, yeah, when I first got this, it was, I'm not sure if you can hear that, but it's brick hard. Um, you know, just having a look around it, everything about it seems fine. I think the wrapper is probably just very, very thick, pretty solid. It's been, uh, it's been in the humidor for a little while, so it should be completely fine. You might be able to see on the wrapper, it looks very, very smooth. Very smooth, very solid. So I, I'm guessing, you know, good construction. Not a cheap cigar, so uh, you would expect something a bit more than that. So let's just double check on that size. Yep, ring gauge 48, 7 inches. So let's, uh, let's see what this scar is like. Barely any smell. A little bit of light earthiness, I guess. You know the usual things you get. You never get too much from the initial smell, I guess. Some scars that don't, sorry, some scars that aren't that potent tend to have uh, some pretty good tastes. Little bit of a rip there, but I am not bothered. That is quite a deep cap. I'm not quite sure you could see that. Probably about a millimeter deep. A little bit deeper than usual. Also, while we're at it, as you can see on the foot, it doesn't look like there's much blending going on between different tobacco colours there, so uh, hopefully it's a very consistent cigar. It's got a taste of cardboard about it. it it's pretty flavourless. It does have a little bit of, um, it does taste a little bit like cardboard or like you've opened up a new pack of A4 printer paper or something like that. Yeah. I wouldn't quite say stale. So, um, it's like this. If you're uh, familiar with Dominican cigars, they tend to have quite a specific flavour profile. It tastes similar to the Peruvian blends you get if you've tried the Inca Secret blend cigars. I would say it's got that little bit of... Um, it reminds you of something a little bit stale tasting. It's um, not by all means an unpleasant taste because it's not, you know, it isn't quite stale. It's um, <clears throat> it's kind of a light cardboardy um, taste, I guess. That airflow is pretty perfect for me. It's um, right down the middle. That is a very, very, very good. That is a good, um, light, easy, uncomplicated mix. I 
it does taste like some of the more basic tobaccos. Like, um, <clears throat> you know, some of the good plain stuff you usually get. But um, without the huge airflow you get of the cheaper cigars. Kind of like a very light earth as a whole. So, you know, more generic tobacco, but seems to be handling it very well. So uh, we're a little bit late on, late on the timer, so I have to add a couple of minutes to it at the end. I'll uh, check back and see when I started this. So that's time to start now. Very uncomplicated earth. A little bit nutty. A little bit creamy, it's pretty silky smooth. If you've, um, I want to compare it to Inca Secret Blend because that is pretty similar. It's maybe a slightly lighter version of that, you still got all the creaminess and everything. But I would say overall, it's pretty uncomplicated, so, um, yeah, we'll get a bit further into it and we'll see how it develops then. We're just over the 20 minute mark. Uh, it's 19 minutes add on a couple of minutes because I was late about 20 years. This is about what I would expect for this kind of cigar. We could be looking at an hour and 45 minutes maybe um, That's just me. It could be two hours. I probably lose 50 minutes in the quick smoking I do just to you know get some good flavors when it comes to the you know the review segments I do Decent amount of smoke, very creamy, very nutty, the ash on this is actually looking pretty good. Staying together pretty well, no problems with that at all. No problems in the burn, that, that stayed pretty, yeah, pretty consistent the whole way. It's not really changed at all. Scar self still feels, you know, quite good. There's no uh, nasty spices or anything hanging in it. Fairly consistently now, um, maybe a little stronger than a very started. Definitely a little bit stronger than a very start. That's just you know a little bit extra nuttiness, maybe a little bit extra earthiness. Still very silky smooth. Very basic, but very good. Mainly just not over complicated. I think if this remains as consistent as I think it's going to be, this is going to end up a very good cigar, but that, that relies on more things over time. We'll have to give it a bit more time, get it further down the cigar. Yeah, I'll get back to you then. There might be a little note of peat in this, but nothing too much. I'll see you in the next segment of this video. So um, we are just past the 40 minute mark. Yeah. And um, we're still only about halfway in. It's, it's doing pretty good. If this is an hour and a half hour, 45 minutes, I would say it's easily a two hour cigar. The ash we initially had was about a good two inches. That was a good uh, long lasting ash. Seems to be pretty strong. It's a good long filler, I think. Burn still exceedingly well. No problems at all there. The uh, new ash is going pretty good. The band wasn't really stuck on. It was pretty loose. No real glue on it. So it came off just to go off. No rips or anything in the wrapper. So that's pretty good. I want to say it's got a little bit of a tangier nutty flavour. I want to say it's still very light, very um, a little bit sweet, very good um, creamy nutty flavour. But I guess the um, the nuttiness has definitely prevailed a little bit more. I might be detecting little notes of cedar in this, but um, 
again that tends to just come from newer humidors which I do have quite a new one that I've been seasoning quite a bit recently and it's not really you know work hard, work hard yet so uh, some of the cedarish smells come off into the scars On the retro hail, I tend to always taste a good bit of chocolate. This is no exception. It's such a good light cocoa taste, I guess. A lot of earthiness, but that's just, again, the retro hail. Retro hails always give you a very good perspective on cigars. If they're particularly light, if it's a very strong cigar, you're going to be crying if you keep ritual hailing them. So, uh, yeah, you want to be careful there. But no, this one's quite good. It's still relatively light. The uh, nuttiness and flavour is just progressing as we go along, but that's not really changing too much. Just getting a little bit deeper as we go. Yeah, still very smooth, very nice. Let's just go to the cigars page. I would like to point out the uh, price of these cigars. They are quite expensive, £13.69. That can get you a good Cuban. So um, I do agree with these reviews so far. I, you're paying a lot, but you're getting a lot. We haven't finished this cigar yet, so let's not see. Uh, a flavour set to light to medium. Yes, definitely on the very light side of that. Length 7 inches, ring gauge of 48. And this is the single scar version. I believe there's boxes of these. And the American Republic next to Cuba. Just some of the usual cigars babble. You could pause the screen to read that if you wanted to. But I do think they just they just waffle on. There's um they tend to copy and paste a lot of their descriptions from place to place and there are some good typing error problems and scar mix up problems with that but if you want to read that pause and read it or go to their website yourself and read it reviews are pretty good we're not going to get too into them but a five star review as the most comprehensive review um, a four star review slightly more comprehensive just very basic um, it doesn't really go into anything here though and this one, barely anything, but again, four-star review. So there's no disputing that this card does actually have some very good reviews. Very nice, um, sort of aromatic creaminess. I would say there might be a tiny hint of peat in there that just adds to the sweetness. But nothing too spectacular. I believe we are 45 minutes into it, yes. And um, yeah, I'm going to make our way down a little bit more and I'll get back to you on the next segment. Maybe another one or two segments before we get to the end section. So we're an hour in. And um, not much difference at all, to be honest. I mean, the flavours are picked up in terms of strength over time. I still wouldn't say this constitutes even a medium. A few nice gentle smokes. You know, there's nothing really happening here. It's a very light flavoured, silky smooth, still. Um, draw is still perfectly good. No problems with the burn. It's getting a little bit ash tasting. It's kind of hard to always describe what I mean by that. But um, a little bit like uh, you're just smoking overburnt tobacco, maybe ash. But um, that might be because I've been smoking a little bit fast for the flavor segments. That's still very good solid nuttiness though. That's really the only flavour I could get out of this, um, aside from being just very creamy overall. Very nice draw. It seems uh, now maybe it's swelling for moisture a little bit around the plug. 
but it seems maybe the draws are getting the tiniest bit tighter, or you're just getting a little bit less. And you might notice less smoke than before, it just feels like, you know, it's producing a lot less smoke. Time-wise, as I said, we just passed an hour. Perfect burn. Like, almost perfect burn, literally. And it's been nothing but great construction so far. The tastes have been great. It's been just one solid taste. It's something you could sit relax having while doing something else. But if you're, you know, sitting waiting to enjoy flavors, you're going to be waiting forever. They're not really happening. So, um... Bear that in mind if you prefer very, very um, flavorful or much stronger flavored cigars. But this is definitely for the light cigar smokers out there. This is perfect. Um, I would say price wise, quality wise, this is um, an opposition to Cubans. Cubans I find on the whole a little bit lighter. And by that I mean there's more sweetness and when it comes to spicy flavors, they tend to be a little bit more towards the side of rich flavors instead of outright spicy flavors. So there's um, even the good flavorful ones tend not to be too spicy. I say this is um, sort of like a counterpart to it because this is um, around about the same price. It's very good construction, what you would expect from a decent Cuban. Um, but it is Dominican and it's very good. Flavors, again, as I said, very light. So, um, yeah, with Cubans, you tend to get a decent bit more richness, I find, as a whole. I think I mentioned this on stream, but not on video. Strawberry and lime is what this one is. It's pretty good, goes together well. If you say, you know, it's generally not a good idea to have some a sweet drink with a cigar, but it's never really fed to me. Switch between the two other cigars, I know very well. I know it's no difference. It's good clean on the palate. This, um, quite quite fond of these um, copper cider bottles now. Only really had the cans before. goes quite well with this. As you can see, maybe I'm just a little bit agitated with it, maybe I'm just uh, fooling around with it. But I keep moving it from hand to hand. Uh, I'm guessing because as a scar itself, it's not something to really concentrate to. As I said, it's pretty light, something you would have in the background. And it's just in general, extremely enjoyable. I think the wrapper is very good. No problems with the binder, burn's been brilliant. The filler seems to be very, very consistent, a very good long filler. The size of the ashes are quite, you know, considerable. It's a big cigar, big price, but quality, size, the time, everything is there. So I have a feeling the next segment will be the conclusion. So uh, stay tuned for that. So we are an hour and a half in, and this is the conclusion segment of the cigar. A little bit more to go, we'll go over that. Hour and a half in, easily a two hour cigar, definitely been going way overkill on the speed of this. It is about the same size, pretty much the same size as a Quorum Shade Churchill. Well, the Quorum Churchill is in general, the Shade's the one I've got. And this is easily comparable in terms of value. It's just that little edge. It's very nice and nutty all throughout. I personally prefer the Quorum Shade Toro because I love the shade grown tobacco. Even though it's from Nicaragua, the shade grown is really good. I would say compared to this, if I was comparing them, I still go for that. It's a little, it's a decent bit cheaper, with this being thirteen quid. But um, thirteen seventy or something, something like that. But flavor-wise, being fantastic, being a very consistent, very consistent throughout, even now. Very nice, slightly sweet nuttiness. Very gentle smoke. It's something you could have while doing something else and it's very enjoyable. Wouldn't buy it if you're concentrating on flavours, but if you are a beginner cigar smoker or you just prefer lighter cigars, 
if you're in a lot of situations where you're just going to, you know, want to smoke a cigar while you're doing something else, this is probably a very good pick for you. Expensive, but definitely worth it, I would say. This is the Santa Damiana. I'm always concerned I'm going to pronounce that wrong since I always forget where the I is. But, um, yeah, except in the simple band as well. I'm not a big fan of this band. But, yeah, this is, again, a very good cigar. Very happy with it, and it's been very enjoyable to have. So, don't forget to check out my uh, Facebook page. I post a lot of my cigars there. Whenever I do a cigar live stream, then uh, I always post it there as well. You get a lot there that you don't get here. Um, I tend to post giveaways there. I sometimes post unique giveaways that I don't mention on YouTube. So that might be a good reason to go like that page. Um, yeah, there's lots there. You should probably go check it out. I also have a um, Patreon page. If you would like to go to that and pledge a certain monthly donation, that would be very kind of you. It'd be appreciated. That's something I set up a long time ago. Never really talked about. Revived quite recently. And that's just to raise some money to buy some scars I wouldn't normally buy. Just some good, unique ones to review. That sort of stuff. So you can also check that out. Links to both those in the description. Uh, I bought this on Seagars, as I showed earlier. And the link to Seagars is also in my description. So thanks for watching this review. Hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed this scar. If you smoked one along, then hope you enjoyed that too. Thanks for watching.